Okay, that's finishing off the site plan looks good. And now we'll move down to our next plan that we want to look at. Top of footings, there's not much there. We're not going to use that. We are going to have a look at top plate. And when I come to the top plate, um, there's something in here that's missing. And if I, perhaps if I go to 3D and have a look, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. I'm just going to spin this house around and have a look under the eaves. And if you have a look under the eaves, you can actually see light shining through here. Um, there's nothing filling in between the roof and the walls. And again, we can show that quite clearly if we look at that um, cross section um, on the south section across the shed. We've got nothing in here. Now, if you go out and have a look at your house, you'll find that there is a piece of material either going up parallel to the roof till it hits the wall or cutting across this way until it hits the wall and that's called a soffit and we need to put one of those in our house so I'm going to come back to our top um, plate not our ceiling uh, plan just make sure you're not choosing your ceiling plan I'm closing that down just so I can't see it and I want this one and if we zoom in and have a close look at where we actually want this to go you can see this is our wall and this corner here is the corner of the roof before it hits onto our fascia board and then our gutter after that. So we want it to run around here. We don't want it to run all the way around because if you remember this wall here, here and here we actually bought up to meet the roof. So we don't need it there across the top or there. We just need it around from that point all the way around in a pattern. So let's let's get that in. What we're going to do is to go into roof and pick soffit. Now there is only one in here at the moment which is generic 300 which is going to be too thick. We only want something about 10 millimeters thick. So I'm going to create a new one quickly uh, and you can do this as well. So we come in, duplicate the generic 300, give it a new name of generic 10 millimeters. Oops. And OK. And now all we have to do is change the thickness by going into edit. Obviously it's in the structure there and we'll just change that to 10 millimeters. Okay all that. And we now have that generic 10 millimeters. We have the same type of uh, insert system. I'm going to use a line and it takes a little bit of um, care this because you need to zoom right in to make sure you're on the correct points. And we're going to, oops, I don't want to start there. I actually want to start down on this point because that's going to be our first corner. I'm starting on that point and running up and making sure I pick that edge of the roof, not the fascia board. So be very careful with this when you do it. I'm just going to zoom out a bit, come in, zoom in again. I can go right down the front of the house, so I'm going to zoom out, zoom in here. And it takes a little while to work our way around and you should be thinking now that yep we're going to have to go around the inside as well to make it so that it doesn't go all the way across the roof because if we left it just like this it would go all the way across the roof. So come up to my last point here and then I'm going to turn and come across and go all the way back around. And I'm just picking the outside of the wall now so I've got to come all the way across because that's our veranda and that will cover in the underneath of our um, veranda there as well, our little little uh, porch area. Again be very accurate with this because if it's not you'll have gaps showing up everywhere and it does take a little while to do. And come all the way down to there uh, now, I, I have made a little bit of a mistake here, and I'm just going to have to fix this up. I'll come out. I actually only wanted it to go to the edge of the wall, which is there. So pretty easy. Just click on that, drag it up until it hits there, and let's fix that one. And I think I did the wrong thing on this side as well too. So click on that, move it back down until it jumps onto that line, and there we go. So if it looks like that, you're looking good, and we can click our tick. 
now if we go back and have a look at it in 3D, you can see now that we haven't got that showing. We've got that nice little edge. And in our rafter area here, if we just move, move it around a bit, swing it up and down, you can see that that's okay because it just runs straight up there now, like that. And there's no gap anywhere around there, so that's great. A little bit of a gap here. Now we could go in and draw put a bit of uh, roofing in there at that height but I'm not going to worry about that at this stage it's not relevant to the drawing if you want to do that you can um, and it will take a little bit to do but you'd have to put a little tiny wall in there 10 millimeters thick up there and there can be done but don't worry about it at this stage because it's not going to show up go back to your top of plate view and that one is now ready we've just got to hide a few things in here again we don't want the grids so we can take the grids out same old way, we've, we've hidden these grids a fair few times now. Um, you should be getting used to it. I shouldn't even have to show you. Uh, we also want the um, property line taken out. Now we should have that in here in maybe lines. Let's have a look. And see if it's in our list of lines. Boundary, um, looking for property. not seeing it there so what I might do is just come in and right click on it and hide in view and just the element and that's gone um, we're probably not even going to use this top plate view anyway um, so I wouldn't worry about cleaning it up too much I don't think we're going to use that one um, and therefore don't even worry about showing your crop regions you can see this crop region is quite large don't worry about that, we, we won't even use that one, it's really we just used it to put in that soffit so that we can cover up the roof. Okay, our next one's we're going to start looking at our um, elevations and cleaning those up and adding any information that we need to to each of those. So move on to the next video.